Kono is a fast, lightweight backend framework and it is working quite well with Next.js. In this video we are going to create a starter pack using Kono plus Next.js and you have that starter pack in the public GitHub repository in the description below. So now we can start! We are going to the Hono documentation page and we are clicking on get started and everything that we need from here is the quick start command. So we are going to pick the PMPM, I love PMPM, you can use whatever command you like from here and I'm going to copy it and paste it inside of my terminal. So here, inside of my projects directory, I'm pasting the pmpm create hono latest and that one is going to create a new application for me. So I'm going to call it orkish hono and we are going to pick here the next.js template. That one is pretty important because we want to mix it up with Next.js. So here it is, Next.js, I'm clicking enter. And do we want to install the project dependencies? Yes, why not? He can do it for us and we are going to use pmpm again you can use here whatever you like and now everything is being cloned installing project dependencies and that's it so now we can go to our orkish hono and here we can open our code so i typed in code and dot to open the code from my current directory and here it is i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see everything i'm using cursor editor and here it is we can see our structure and first thing that we need to see is our package.json unfortunately hono still doesn't have next.js 15 so we have to fix that we have to use next.js 15 we cannot just continue with the old version and the other thing that i don't like about this beginning from there quick start is the use effect they're using use effect inside of a server component i mean they created a client component they transformed it to the client when they used use client so we are going to fix all of those things and to create a nice neat starter pack with hono plus next.js let's first run it to see if it's even working so here i'm typing in pmpm dev and we can see that Next.js 14.2.5 is working on our localhost 3000. So I'm going to my browser here and I'm opening localhost 3000. Here it is, we can see hello from Hono and let's see where is that coming from. So inside of our page, we are fetching the data from slash API slash hello. So that one is here inside of our app directory. We have API directory, then we have the route, which is a dynamic route and inside we have the actual hono code so here we are importing hono from hono handle hono from Vercel, which means we can deploy this entire next.js project together with hono on Vercel, and everything is going to work but here we are exporting const runtime as edge so we are using edge here i think that we could use also node.js but we can try that one out. So here we are creating a new application from Hono, similar like Node.js, and we are creating a route similar like in Express, and we are returning the message hello from Hono, which we are seeing here on our landing page. So now when we know how it's working, let's update first all the dependencies. So I'm going to the Orkish Hono directory and I'm typing in pmpm up and then latest. This one is going to upgrade all the dependencies that we have in our project, including the major versions. So it's not only for the minor, it's also for the major. And here we can see now that React is upgraded to version 19 and Next.js to version 15.2.4, which is the latest version today. So that one should be good. Let's try to restart here pmpm dev again. And now when I refresh, everything should work normally. There it is. So now we have the latest version of Next.js, which is good. And we can focus on the page so to transform this one into a server component and to have everything nice and neat. 
So we need to remove completely this use effect and I'm going to keep just one line and that's this const res is await fetch api hello. So I'm going to delete everything from here and delete everything from here also. And we're going to turn it into an async function. So now it is a server component and cursor is giving us the result here await fetch, then we are waiting for localhost 3000 API hello, and we're just getting the data from the await res.json. But this one is not good, let's return back once again. So he deleted everything below. So we need it like this, but we are going to get the message from our JSON right here. We just need to add the localhost 3000 in order for it to work. So let's try it out now. So now it should be a problem. Yes, so we are failing to parse URL because we don't know which URL we are shooting. So we need localhost 3000. Now it is working. And to make this one better, we need to create the env file and here we're going to create next public api url which is going to be localhost 3000 and then here we can just replace this localhost with our environment variable so now we can call this wherever we like and we are going to get that same result so here we are missing the API so it needs to be like this or we can put it in the environment it doesn't matter whatever is easier for you and now we are getting the result hello from Hono. So now we have everything ready and we could go to our route here and write a new route it can be horde like this for the horde this cursor really knows me and then inside of our page we can just call instead of this one we can call the API horde and we are going to get that one instead of that first API route. So now we can write our backend here in our Next.js routes and frontend on the Next.js side while keeping everything under control with server components, SSR is working and everything is working as it should. So we have our fast and really awesome application. I hope you enjoyed in this video, warriors. Give me some ideas in the comments what can we create with Hono plus Next.js starter pack. And if you want more content like this, join the mighty horde, subscribe.